It's a delicious holiday dish that won't have you pulling your hair out trying to make it. All you need is some brie, cranberries, and walnuts. And here to show us how to put it all together is Brendan Bloom from La Cuisine in Bramford. Welcome to Connecticut Style. Thank you so much. Nice so, to be here. This looks very festive. It is. Right? It's a festive dish. We're talking about uh, holiday entertaining that's going to be less stress, mm -hmm. something easy to put together in the kitchen. So we have a few store-bought items here that we'll start with. The first is uh, a nice brie. Classic French cheese here, really rich, but very delicious. And we're going to start by cutting the brie in half. So okay. you just want to take your knife straight through. If it's chilled, it oftentimes is a lot easier to work with. And then, so you don't cut your hand off, which would be unpleasant for the holidays. You can lay it we down on the that. side. <laughs> and you just want to take your knife all the way through the brie, cutting it basically directly in half. All right. Sometimes it's a little easier than others. Oh, you got it. There we go. And then if you want to help us out, that would be fantastic. Of course We're I do. That's why I'm here. to stuff this with poached cranberries, um, toasted walnuts, and a few golden raisins. And you can lay that right around the edge there. There you go. Oh, see, I'm helpful. You are helpful. <laughs> and we're just going to lay that out like this, get it all close towards the edges. Now, is that a flavored brie, or is that, I see, it's, it's, just it's regular? Just straight up, yep, okay. just cow's milk brie, really nice, uh, rich flavor, but, you know, it's a little bit of an acquired taste, but it's hard to find someone at the holidays that doesn't, doesn't enjoy like a brie. Right. so creamy and good. So we're going to drop the top right on there. You know, while, you, while, we are, while we're in the process of doing this, sure. tell us a little about La Cuisine. La Cuisine actually is a business that was started about 35 years ago by my parents, um, Ben and Patty Bloom, who are the current owners, and they started out actually just baking um, in the, our kitchen in Guilford, and then they moved into a space on the Guilford Green, and uh, since then we've now re-expanded, and we have a cafe and market, 44 seats in Brantford, and then we're a full-service catering company as well. So you've been so, busy for the holidays, I would assume, right? We, we have been nuts for the holidays, <laughs> yes, absolutely. But in this business, that's a good thing. Great. So we're going to continue here by stuffing this in a little bit of puff pastry. Puff pastry is a little finicky. The cooler that it is, the better it is. Okay. So if you want to take the brie and put it right on top of there, right in the center, sure. that would be fantastic. Now, can you cheat and buy the puff pastry already done? Um, yeah, the puff pastry is actually essential to be cheating with because okay. you would never want to make this yourself. So if you just go to the grocery store, puff pastry is listed. Uh, right in the grocery aisle, um, kind of in the, in the um, not foods? the frozen no. section, but refrigerated section is Got where it. you're going to find it. Um, and then what we're doing here is a little bit of egg wash. And egg wash uh, helps the dough bind together when it's baking so that it doesn't come apart. So you want the brie to be well encased like you can see on this one here. Okay. Okay. So we're going to just take that, a little bit of egg wash around there. And egg wash, in case you're wondering, is just a few scrambled eggs with a, just a little bit of half and half or heavy cream. Okay. Okay. So then if you could help me, we're going to take this up around the edge. And just sort of. You want me helping you? Yeah. I might ruin your uh, uh, brief. You, you can do it. You're doing a great job. I think we can work it out together. <laughs> and then we're just going to go all the way around the edge so that it's well folded in. Okay. I'll work on this side. You work on that side. Oh, it looks almost like yours. There we go. Now, do you have the oven preheated? I do have the oven preheated to 325. Very good question. That's what a lot of chefs forget. So preheating the oven is key. And then we have a baking sheet here with a little bit of parchment paper, tin foil, whatever you'd like to lay down there is fine, just so that it doesn't ooze everywhere. Okay. And then this is the little bit of a tricky part. We're going to flip it over, okay, and drop it right on the baking sheet. And um, then we just want to add a little bit of uh, adornment to it. A little few more little right? decoration. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I could use this cookie cutter, right? That would be the way to go. Snowflake cookie cu cutter. Well, I'm doing this. Tell me about these pretty flowers. Uh, the pretty flowers are from our floral designer, Nancy Mancini. Uh, her name of her company is Tulip uh, Tree Florals. And she is in Brantford and helps us out with a number of events and was kind enough to uh, donate these wonderful flowers today. Oh, they're stunning. So How's there you go. That? That's it's perfect. not exactly the Doesn't nicest matter. Look, it'll like... puff right up. No problem. Just put it right on top. Right on top. Let's do one more so we have two. That a nice accent to it. That's okay. No problem. I'm a huge help, aren't I? You are a gigantic <laughs> help today. Without you, this would not be getting yeah. done. So um, we're just about ready to go on the brie here. There you go. You have another one just about ready. And again, it's not about being perfect. It's Thank just goodness. about being fun and having a good time. These could also be done a week or so in advance. Ooh. They could go I right in your freezer. Hey, I'm going to invite Santa in. He's Please on do. our show Please today. Do. That's and important. I know he's going to want to taste this. He's a big eater. Uh, Santa, could you help us out by uh, putting a, a little bit of an egg wash on top of this? Right. And then we're going to put it right in the, in the oven. 
There you go. It's just Nicely like building done. toys, right? Something <laughs> like, you know, everything needs a nice fresh coat of paint. Edible toys, I guess. Mm. Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> Go ahead, just do the whole top the whole so that it gets top. nice okay. and brown and gold. And that's what will give it this color that you can see in the front ah. here, is that it has that nice golden brown. And without the egg wash, it wouldn't really happen. No, well, you're good at that, Santa. I know we're going to taste this at the end of the show, all of we us. We are. We so are. That'll be great. Absolutely. And, uh, let's put some information up on the screen. La Cuisine is located in Brantford. Go to lacuisine.net for more information. Brendan, thank you so much for being here. Santa, you're a really big help, too. Thank you it's so much. Good we're to have fun. We're going to stick that in the oven. We're going to go right in the oven. 15 minutes at 325. Very easy.